Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars. Have a brand new product out that I've been testing for the last couple of weeks. Really like this. It is the Envision Optics Atlas Thermal Binoculars. It's kind of the, the best of both worlds the way I look at it. It has the same core that the Triticon scopes, which are considered, as far as image-wise, the cream of the crop. It has the BAE 12 micron core, so the same thing as the Reap IR or the IR Hunters, but it has a shutter in it, so you don't have to cover the lens to nuke it. It can auto-nuke. You can manually nuke it, whatever you want, so there's no having to go through any menus or anything like that, no having to worry about having to cover it. You can just click, and it cleans up a automatically. The other thing is it has a focus on it. The Trigicon scopes, they did an excellent job setting them to infinity and they are pretty spot on from maybe 10 yards to infinity. This, you can just get that extra little bit of focus when you need it when it gets out there at those extended ranges or really up close within 10 yards. You can focus it in and get it just perfectly sharp um, instead of the dials it has a button system here with a menu it has white hot black hot kind of a rainbow mode and then the edge detect just like the Trichicons and I'll show you pictures of all that here shortly and and video it takes internal pictures it has a video out cord and it takes the uh, CR123 batteries in fact we'll go in and I'll show you just a minute a close up of the actual unit. It has a 50 millimeter lens with the BAE or with the BAE 12 micron core that works out to 4x magnification. I I prefer a little bit less magnification on my monoculars and binoculars, but this has worked out very well. We were able to identify a hog at right at a mile the other night in some very humid conditions. With it being at native 4x at 640, you can digitally zoom in and still have you know good resolution 320 to see, and then you're at you're at 8x right there, eight magnification. Um, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of the the whole binocular thing because I wear a helmet with a PBS 14 most of the time. I thought when I first saw this, I was like, I'm not going to be able to use it. I was actually, I hold it up to this eye, still have the PVS 14. I can see perfectly fine. If I want to do the binocular view, it works both ways. So I was pleasantly surprised. Everybody minus one guy that I've shown this to has said, this is going to be their next thermal purchase. Uh, everybody's really impressed. In fact, the second I hand it to anybody, I hear the same thing every time. Oh, wow. Oh wow, that is super clear. So we'll we'll zoom in here, look at it up close, go over everything. I mean, this is just a real quick overview. And then uh, I just got back from a hunt with Dry Creek Outfitters and Caitlin Lowe's. I got some footage through the uh, video out with that. As with any other thermal, it does lose some resolution. It's not as clear, uh, but I'm gonna do the best we can. I don't think it loses as much resolution as the Trigicons do. I mean, they just never show that awesome image that you see in the scope or in the monocular but um, this does at least it'll give you an idea if you've ever looked through a trigicon this is pretty much i mean it's it's right there with them same same stuff it it looks excellent and the price tag is excellent for a 50 millimeter lens binocular this one is five thousand six hundred dollars and some change at the date of making this on my uh, new web store which is huey outdoors there'll be a link to that in the description we have these in stock they will ship out right now they are ready to go anyways we'll go and look at a close-up and then we will uh I'll go look at some in the field footage and some video Here's a close-up of the Atlas. There's your controls on the top. They're very easy to click, very easy to find. It's a well-built unit. It looks kind of big, but it's actually really light. Um, not hard to hold at all. It comes with the strap there, of course. Rubberized coating, so if it gets wet or bloody, you won't, you won't drop it. There's your binocular view it's dirty because I've had it out in West Texas here on the bottom is your video out port 
this is where your battery pack is set down the camera here get a better view like I said it takes three CR123 batteries they're in here very nice it's water sealed no issues again very well made very nice unit all right, let's go into the field, some of the field footage, and then just some footage I took around my house. Okay, here's some pictures taken with the unit. There's my dog at about 25, 30 yards with black hot setting. The white spot behind it is actually a frog that's showing up cooler than everything else. Next, we'll cycle to white hot and take another picture. And here we go. Again, my dog at 30 yards and the frog sitting there behind him about 10 more yards out. So 40 yards is that frog. And here's the color rainbow palette if you like this kind of thing. Here it is. I've found a few occasions where something like this is useful, usually on a rainy night or something like that where everything's kind of washed out it can be useful for a few things but I don't use it too much in hunting I mostly stick to black hot or white hot and then we have the edge detect which I found useful in a couple of things I don't use it very much but as you can see it stands out the frog and my dog stand out very well in that so that's the different palettes you have that's it um, four different palettes now we'll go into some video from the field. Alright, this first clip is going to be a human subject at 30 yards. Again, it's 4x magnification, so have to get out there a little ways to get it. You can see the that's a Pulsar XP50 on there. The heat sink is super hot, so it's on black hot. Excellent detail. Excellent detail. The the detail and resolution I'm telling you, this video out, you're losing some resolution through the scope. It's even better. It's amazing. So, human subject, 30, 35 yards. Sorry, again, didn't have a uh, tripod mount, so it's a little bit shaky. We're going to go into some of the pigs that we've killed here recently. I just have them laying on the trailer. And here you'll be able to see you can focus. So, there's turning the focus ring and there was hogs at 15 yards and then again humans at about 5 to 10 yards you can actually see the veins amazing detail for this example we have hogs out in a cut wheat field at around 400 to 450 yards there's a few deer mixed in a few of these hogs are have come out of a, a river and they look white on black hot but this is black hot and I'll let it just sit here this is native magnification four to four hundred fifty yards out very easy to identify these as hogs again the video out doesn't do it justice but looking through the unit there was no issues identifying the deer and the hogs and knowing which was which it's an amazing amazing unit I keep saying that but I'm just very impressed with this unit all right, next up, we're going to go into a, a group, and that there the unit just nuked. You see how fast that is? You didn't lose any, uh, any, you wouldn't have missed any shots or anything. Very quick when it nukes, and it cleared up. All right, this next cut that we're going to go to, we got out. The hogs actually came to us. I didn't shoot. I filmed Caitlin and the owner of Dry Creek Outfitter shooting, and the hogs were coming right to them. I didn't have time to put it on the um, tripod. And I was still trying to get things focused. So um, the first little bit is a little bit out of focus, but then you'll see the rest. Again, I apologize for not having on a tripod. The hogs came right at us. We didn't have time.
Ooh, get him again. Ooh. Hey, this one to the right is still moving. He's looking around. He's to your right, Caitlin. You see him? He's a little one. He's his head's up. Oh yeah, there you go. He's still moving. He's running across to the left. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, she's out there. This clip is a totally different location on a totally different night. It had been uh, 90, high 90 degrees, 95, 98 degrees. Sun had just gone down. The hogs are under a feeder right at 110 yards from me. The tree line behind the feeder, there's a river. So it's already humid. There's a lot of, it's a low area, a lot of humidity going on. So this is probably about the worst image you'll get. You'll notice the graininess with the contrast and everything. Uh, that's the humidity, the heat, and also I did nuke the unit. It, it nuked once. It may auto nuke when I'm going down, but this should be the absolute worst image that you're going to see out of this uh, binocular. Now. I focused on the hogs under the feeder, but you can see I'm pretty much in focus the, all the way all the way down even though it's focused on the hogs you could fine tune it on me at different ranges I just wanted you to show it doesn't have that what say like the the new FLIR series has where when you focus on something it's in focus for 10-15 yards each side of the target and then you have to refocus it is a usable image all the way down it's just you can fine tune at certain ranges so very good focus all the way down and what ends up happening here is I'm gonna walk down I'm testing out a new bullet that's my 10 inch CMMG mutant you'll see the brass or the steel coming out because I don't use my brass catcher on this and you will hear the thumps on several of these hogs you won't see too much of it because the grass once you hit them they fall down into the grass you won't you won't see but you will be able to hear the thumps on the hogs I decided to let this play the whole way I'll, I'll walk down here just so you can see the scope and see the different stuff and watch me at different ranges so a lot of nothing's happening right here I walk up to the winds in my face I was able to get within 30 yards and um, waylay on these guys
And since everybody seems to ask all the time, these are the noises you're hearing are uh, tree frogs and insects and stuff. It is summertime here in Texas. A lot of a lot of reptiles and a lot of bugs out. If you look off to the left, there's some piglets in the grass. You can just see the tops of their backs. Even with thermal, thermal can do a lot, but it can't cut through tall, wet vegetation. So I see as they come out to the open there on the left, you're going to see them better. All right, I'm fixing to shoot, so I'm going to stop talking and let you watch the last little bit of this clip here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was it, it was just a little bit of footage. I'll get some more, but um, at least it gives you an idea what you're looking at. It's a very impressive unit. Like I said earlier on, everybody that looks at it is like, oh wow. Um, really impressed with it, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna get one for myself. It, um, it fills that void for me where I can identify without having to pull up my Trigicon 60 millimeter scope or something. I can identify stuff way out. Uh, so, really works well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below if I left anything out. Ask any questions. Go visit uh, Huey Outdoor Store. You can purchase them there or you can find my phone number or contact and contact me that way. Thank you for watching.